Welcome back, GED Math Warriors. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about understanding percent problems on the exam, on the math exam. And I want to make sure that you are using your calculator to help you with these problems. So for any type of percent problem on the GED math exam, they're going to either ask you to find the part and they're going to give you the percent and the whole number, which is the rate and the base. Or the problem might ask you to find the percent and they'll give you the whole number and the part. And so we're going to look um, over both of those types of problems that you'll see. So first and foremost, you want to make sure you understand that percent means per hundred or out of 100. So if I was to say that I had $100 and I spent $50 of that, that's 50%. You know, if I spent $25, that's 25%. Um, whatever amount it is, it's going to be that percent because it's out of 100. So when you see percent problems, you're going to notice that there are three elements. There's the base, which is the whole amount. It's usually the larger number the part, which is a portion of the base, and then the rate, which is the number that followed by, is followed by the percent symbol. So when we think about these really quickly, just to get your mind in the right place, you know about all of these, especially if you go out to a restaurant and you eat and you need to tip the server, the waiter or waitress, okay? So when they give you your bill, that is the base, that's the whole number. Your bill could be $50. What you decide to tip them as far as like the dollar amount is the portion of the base. But usually we don't just say like, okay, well my bill was $50, I'm gonna give a $5 tip. Most people will decide to pick a rate. They'll say, what rate should I give them for their service that they gave me? And usually most restaurants will say like, oh, it's 20%. That's the normal rate that you would give a server. But you might have a really good server. Um, you're, you know, you got a, a boost in your paycheck and you want to increase that rate. So if I go out to eat, I might go somewhere and the bill is $50. I'll think to myself, what's 20% of $50? And whatever that amount is, that will be the part, okay? So let's go look at some other examples where they're going to be asking you to either find the rate or find the percent, or they're gonna ask you to find the part, which is the portion of the base, the whole number. So up here we see um, it'll ask you to find the part if you're given the percent and the base or the whole number. So this first problem says Joey owes his friend $1,000. Yesterday he gave his friend $400. The money, the $400, was 40% of the money he owes. So the base is 1,000, the part, is 400 and the rate is 40% because 40% of $1,000 is 400. So let's go ahead and take care of this first example. So I'm going to type in the base 1,000 times and it, the rate is 40%. So I'm gonna type four zero and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna click second open parentheses, right? Because above it, there's the percent symbol. And then I'm going to click enter. And the answer is 400. And we know that because, well, they gave us the part, but that's how we know that um, the 40% of 1000 would be 400. So let's go to the next problem. On a test with 80 problems, you got 10% of the problems wrong which means you answered eight problems incorrectly, okay? So let's go back up here. Obviously, they gave us the, um, the part. We know that that's our answer, but let's check it out and really quickly do this on the calculator. Let's check their work. So I'm going to type in 80% times, I'm sorry, I'm gonna type in 80 times 
10%. Second key, open parentheses, enter. And you notice it's eight. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. So the next problem says, Mike made a down payment on a car. If the purchase price is $28,000 and the down payment is 12% of the price, how much is his down payment? So let's go over to our calculator and figure this one out. So the base is 28,000, one more zero, times 12%, because we wanna see how much is he gonna put down as a down payment. So 12, second function, parenthesis symbol, enter. So if he wants to put down 12% of the total price of the car, he's gonna be putting down $3,360. So let's go to the next one. Frankie's paycheck is $2,000 and he spends 25% on food. How much of the paycheck is spent on food? Okay, I'm gonna to come to my calculator. I'm gonna click clear or press the clear key and I'm going to type 20 or 2,000 times 25% second open parentheses key 500. So out of the $2,000 paycheck, he is spending $500 or 25% of it on food. Math warriors, let's look at a different type of problem or equation that you will see on the exam where they're going to give you two of the three elements, but they're going to ask you to find the rate or the percent because they're going to give you the part and the whole or the part and the base. So let's look at that first example. It is expected that 18 out of 900 cars on the road each day have their lights on what percent of cars have their lights on. So let's go ahead and figure this one out. So if 18 out of 900 cars, so I have 18 as my part, 900 as the base, and I'm going to get a percentage. Well, I want my calculator to give me the answer as a percent because I want to make life easier while I'm taking the exam. I don't want to get a decimal as an answer and have to mentally move that decimal point over to the right two, um, two spaces or multiply that by 100 to get the percent. I just want the calculator to do it for me. So let's go over to our calculator and we're going to uh, type in 18 divided by 900. And like we just did when we were putting into the equation a percent of a total number, we're going to use second function. And instead of the button over the eight, which is the open parentheses button, remember that has the green uh, percent sign above it, look to the right of that. And that's the close parentheses button. And above that is a triangle pointing at a percent sign. So I'm gonna click on that and then I'm gonna click enter. And notice that the answer is 2%. So for this problem, for the this example, 2% of cars have their lights on. Let's go to another example. So this example is based off of the table. We have two teams, Phoenix and Tucson, and their wins and losses. So the first problem says, write the expression or problem to find out the percent of total games Phoenix won. Okay, well, I have to do some addition because I need to figure out the total games Phoenix won. Nine wins, three losses means that they won a total of 12 games. So 12 is going to be my whole or my base. It's going to be the bottom number of that um, fraction. And we want to know the percent of the wins. So Phoenix won nine. So nine over 12 is going to give me the correct answer. And I'm going to tell my calculator to give me the answer as a percent. 9 divided by 12, second, close parentheses, enter 75%. So 9 out of 12 games is 75%.
Next problem. What percent of its games did Tucson win? Okay, well, I know my base is 12. Tucson won four games. So four divided by 12 will give me my percent. So let me go to my calculator and clear it. Four divided by 12 seconds, give me my answer as a percent, enter, and we get 33.3 repeating. Folks, the likelihood that the answers will show up as a whole number and then um, a decimal the way you see on the calculator is slim to none. They are most likely going to give you this answer as 33 and one third percent. This is why it's really important that you learn um, what these different fractions are to their decimals. So 0.3 repeating is the equivalent of one third. So let's go ahead and clear this problem and go on to another one where we're using the same thing where we want to find the percent. So this problem says, the next one says, you saved $32 on a $128 jacket. What percent of the jacket price did you save? Okay, so I know that the part is 32, the whole is 128, and it'll give me my percent. What percent of that total price? Let's go to our calculator. 32 divided by 128 second close parentheses button because I want my answer as a percent, 25. So I saved 25% of that jacket price is $32. So if they said, hey, you're going to get 25% off, I know that's, uh, that's $32, okay? 25%. And we can always check our work. If you if you have a hard time believing some of this stuff, come back and check your work. Do 128 times 25 seconds, because it's 25%. We're not telling it I want my answer as a percent. We're saying the 25 is a percent and hit enter and it's 32. It all worked out, folks. Now let's go ahead and just do a review of what we've learned today, different ways to use our calculator um, to give us answers as percents or maybe the problem itself, the equation has a percent like we just did when we checked our work. Okay, so let's go back to our calculator and clear it. The first one asks, what is 20% of $25? So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click 20% second I gotta get that percent times $25. I'm gonna hit enter. So 20% of $25 is $5. Awesome. Next one, 90%, 90 second, open parentheses, because that's where my percent is as a second function, times 200. So 90% of 200 is 180. Great, let's go to the next one. What is 35% of 400? So 35 second, open parentheses button because that's where the percent key is above it. We have 400, enter, is 140. So next one is what percent is 19 out of 20? And that's what we just did, right? We have the part 19, the whole or the base is 20. So I'm going to clear my calculator. I'm gonna say 19 divided by 20 is what percent? But I want you to give me the, the answer as a percent. So second key, close parentheses key, because above it is where we see the um, triangle pointing at the percent, and I'm gonna hit enter, and you get 95%. 42 is what percent of 168, okay? Same concept here. I have my um, part, which is 42, my whole, which is 168. So I'm gonna do some division. And I'm going to say, give my answer as a percent. So second, close parentheses, enter. 
and it's 25%. So 42 is 25% of 168. Okay, folks, let's end this with the challenge question. And you'll see it asks you, find 33 and one third percent of 51. Guess what? Your calculator can do this. So let's go over to our calculator. I've already cleared the screen. So I want to input 33 and one third percent just the way as I see it. I'm going to go to the third row down and I'm gonna go over to the second column where I see a button with an N and a D. Above it in green is a U with the N and the D. And that is our mixed numbers function that I want. And I need to press second, that button, and you'll notice on the calculator screen, the setup's there, it's ready for me to enter. So I'm going to place 33, and then I'm gonna use the right arrow to move on over so I can then enter one for the numerator, down arrow, to then enter three for the denominator. And I need to click on the right arrow to say, calculator, I'm done entering 33 and one third. Then I'm gonna do second, the percent key, times 51, and hit enter, and the answer is 17. I hope this video helps some people out learning how to use your calculator and the second function to take care of problems where they're asking you for a percent or they're asking you for the part um, when they give you these three elements. Thanks for watching, GED scholars, and make sure you keep your head up. You've got this.